Down Payment Assistant Program. What is it and how can it help you to buy a house? Hi, my name is Andre and I'm a loan officer uh, with uh, Advisory Home Loans in Fresno, California. And I want to welcome you back to another episode on mortgages. Today we'll be talking about um, a source for down payment through Down Payment Assistant Program. Uh, in our last video, we covered different sources available for you for down payment. And one of those sources is through the Down Payment Assistance Program. If you haven't watched our last episode, we'll have a link in the description and uh, I welcome you to uh, check that out, okay? So what is the Down Payment Assistance Program? These are the programs available in each state and these programs can help you uh, buy a house if you don't have uh, finances available for down payment. Here in California, we have a number of different programs available. And I'll list um, five different programs that we work with, and then we'll go into more details for each individual program um, in the future videos. But today we'll cover um, one program. So uh, one of the most widely used programs in California is through California Housing Finance Authority, CalHFA, or sometimes people call it CalHFA, okay, is the most widely used program in California. Then we have Platinum Program. We also have Open Doors, uh, Chinoa Funds, and Advantage, okay. These are the five programs that we work with, and between all these programs, we can find a solution for you. Now, today, I want to provide more details about the Cal HFA program. Okay, so Cal HFA program. This is a, a program through California Housing Finance Authority and this program works with both FHA loan and conventional loan. We will take an example for an FHA loan but the mechanism is going to be similar for a conventional loan, okay? So let's say you want to buy a house and the purchase price of a house is $250,000. With an FHA loan, there is a minimum 3.5% uh, down payment required. You don't have those finances available to you and you, you cannot uh, get a gift from a family member or any other sources, okay? So you apply for the CalHFA program and they will give you 3.5% uh, for the down payment. Okay, so $8,750 will be given to you to cover your down payment portion. So your first loan, your loan on the mortgage is going to be $241,250, right? $250 minus $8,750 is $241,250. So that's going to be your main loan, okay? Now, this portion of down payment uh, assistance is going to become your second loan. Okay, second. Uh, however, you are not required to make monthly payment on this. And because of that, it's called silent. Since you are not obligated to make monthly payment on this, it's a silent loan. It exists, it's there, it's part of your uh, uh, title, uh, it's, or it's lien against your title, but you are not obligated uh, to pay this uh, until uh, three instances, okay? First is when you sell your house, then you're obligated to pay this back. The second thing is when you refinance your house, then this portion of the down payment uh, assistance is required to be paid back to the program. And the third thing is when you pay off your first loan, Okay, first, paid off. When you pay off the first loan, then you are required to, to repay the program portion back to the program. Okay, now, this portion right, right here, which you borrowed for your down payment, accrues interest, 2.5% simple annual interest. So let's take a look at this. 87 50 times 2.5% a year is equals to 18 and uh, 75 cents, okay? 
a year. So you will accrue $218.75 every year um, you have this um, against your house. Now let's multiply this by 30 years, okay? Let's assume you will stay in your house for 30 years and this portion will accrue interest for 30 years. Most of the time, it's not gonna be the case. You will either refinance your house or you're gonna sell your house or um, uh, something else, right? Move on to the next, uh, but let's say you stay in your house for 30 years and interest accrues um, on this portion for 30 years, that's additional 6562. 6562, okay, 6562. That's interest accrued over 30 years. If you think about it, it's actually not that bad because in 30 years, the idea is that you have a better job, you have um, a better financial position, and you have those finances available to repay the program back after 30 years. So 8750 plus 6562 is going to be required back to the program at the end of 30 years. Another benefit of a Cal HFA program is that in addition to down payment assistance, they offer a closing cost assistance, okay? And we'll cover closing costs uh, topic in um, our future video. But each loan has uh, costs associated with it in getting the loan, okay? So it's sort of uh, uh, paying for the services. So uh, Cal HFA offers uh, a closing cost assistance program. And there's two programs uh, with 2% assistance and 3% assistance. I'm not gonna go into details uh, in difference between them. Let's just assume you uh, decide to go with 3% closing cost assistance, okay? So from your loan amount, it's based on your loan amount, not based on your, on your purchase price. So let's say you wanna take advantage of the closing cost assistance portion as well. So you take the loan amount and multiply by 3%, of the closing cost assistance program, that comes out to 7237. Okay? 70 7237, 7237 is going to give be given to you to cover closing costs. Now, this portion is going to become your third loan, but again, you are not making payment on it so it's going to be silent as well silent okay so if you took advantage of both down payment assistance and closing cost assistance at the end of 30 years um, after your first loan is paid off or when you refinance or when you sell the house this is going to be required to be paid back to the program now, the good thing about the uh, closing cost assistance is that it does not accrue interest. It's zero interest. So whatever you uh, uh, received from the program for the closing cost, this is what you're going to pay back to the program. Now, the down, payment, the down payment portion does accrue interest, and we already figured it out that um, in 30 years, it's going to accrue $6,000 um, in interest. So overall, if you think about it, if you have no finances right now, but uh, you have good credit and you are in a position to buy a house, you can take advantage of this program. And this is a great program if you don't have any other sources for down payment. Again, going back to our last video, if the gift is not available to you, you don't have uh, your own finances, you don't have any retirement plan or anything like that. This is a great program to take uh, advantage of to get into the house. Okay, guys, I know it's a lot of information. Um, please feel free to rewatch this video as I go through the details of the program. And if you have more questions, uh, reach out to me. My contact information is going to be in the description and on the screen. Please feel free to call me, email me, and again, uh, share with um, your friends and family and those who you know uh, are in the process of buying a house. But as of uh, today, um, that's it for now. Um, in our future videos, we'll cover um, 
uh, some of the other down payment assistance program and leave your comments which questions do you have uh, for our future videos um, i'll greatly appreciate that but for now thanks for watching and i'll see you next time